Hello, in this video we're going to look at a risk seekers or risk lovers utility function. A risk seeker is a person who prefers a risky income to a guaranteed income of the same expected value. This person receives higher utility from a gamble with an expected value of X dollars than from a guaranteed X dollars. So an example, say you flip a penny and if heads comes up you win hundred dollars if tails comes up you win nothing the expected value of this gamble is fifty dollars one half times a hundred plus one half times zero a risk loving person prefers the gamble facing the chance of winning a hundred dollars or nothing over receiving a guaranteed fifty dollars the risk lover has a convex utility function the first and second derivative will be positive. Here's an example of a risk lover's utility function. Utility u equals 0.5 times i squared, where i represents income. The derivative of this utility function, we get back i. So taking the derivative of this with respect to income, we get back i. And then if we take the derivative of a derivative, the derivative of i is just 1. So both of the signs of these derivatives here are positive. This is a risk lover's utility function. If we were to take a graph of that utility function, we'd get something like this. For the risk loving, the expected utility of the gamble is greater than the utility of the gamble's expected value. Let me show you what I mean by this. So let's use this utility function. And here's our gamble. There's a 60% probability of earning $20 and a 40% probability of earning $12. The expected value, 0 0.6 times $20 plus 0 0.4 times $12 is $16.80. The utility of the expected value we're going to take this 1680 and plug it into the person's utility function, and we get back 141.12. So that's the utility of the expected value. Not to be confused with the expected utility of the gamble. The expected utility of the gamble is calculated this way. EU, the expected utility, is going to be 0 0.6 times utility at $20 plus 0 0.4 multiplied by utility at $12. So 0 0.6 times utility at $20. We're just going to take this $20 and plug it into the utility function and evaluate it. And then again, multiply it by 0 0.6. And then to calculate utility at $12, plug this $12 into the utility function and then multiply that by 0 0.4. And we get an answer of 148.8. And notice here that the expected utility, the 148.8, exceeds the utility of the expected value of 141.12. That'll be the case for risk-loving or risk-seeking individuals. Okay, I will stop here.